Anthony Davis is the clear-cut best player in the NBA at the moment. He just won't stop breaking records and is saving the Lakers season. It was only a few weeks ago that the Lakers were about to make massive moves to the roster. So what happened? Well, we're going to discuss how good AD is right now, what changed to get to this point, and what all that means for the Lakers' future. You might think this is all a fluke, but when healthy, Anthony Davis has always been one of the most dominant forces on both ends of the court. So let's take a look at why he is the best player right now and his historic numbers. Since beginning his world destroying run all the way up to the 55 point explosion versus the Wizards, Anthony Davis has been putting up historic numbers worthy of being crowned the clear cut best player in the NBA. During this 10 game span, AD has averaged 34.2 points, 15.4 rebounds, 2.7 assists and almost 3 blocks and 1.3 steals per game, all while shooting 63% from the field and 42% from beyond the arc. On the season, he has a league leading player efficiency rating of 31.9 and the Lakers are 8.6 points better when he's on the floor. At the pace he's playing at, if he can play just 70 games this season, he would contribute an amazing 15 wins to this team. If you have access to any basketball related media outlet, it seems like we are constantly bombarded with new records broken after each Anthony Davis game. And meanwhile, people in the comments seem to be praying for his downfall by bringing up his injury history. But things are looking pretty strong right now. A couple of games at this level can be taken for granted. But now that almost a month has passed, it's time to consider that Anthony Davis is finally achieving his potential to be one of the best players alive. Other up and coming guys that are fighting for the title of best player like Luka Doncic or Jason Tatum sit just one tier below 80's current level of play. And he just recently outdueled Giannis and the Bucks to cement his standing at a higher level than even the Greek freak who has been considered number one for quite some time now. This is because most players, no matter how good, have a clear weakness. But AD currently is playing like the perfect center and the term unicorn gets thrown around a lot but AD is showing what the potential of a unique player like that can be. He's rebounding the ball the best he's ever had. He's showing a complete three level offensive skill set from the three, mid range and at the rim. And he's not stuck in one role either. He can create his own shot, clean up misses and put them back up with authority and play off ball as a floor spacer or the screener. And he's shutting down any shot attempt that comes near him. With such authority, it makes you wonder why those guys challenged him in the first place. There's no other player that impacts the game as he does on both ends of the court. And even if he falls back to earth a little bit, we're still talking about a level of play that cements him strongly for MVP considerations. Davis was a monster during the 2020 bubble championship run. Pairing with LeBron to become the best pick and roll duel in the entire league. Individually though, even that year doesn't compare. This might very well be the best version of Anthony Davis we have ever seen. The only other season that truly matches in terms of impact is 80's third year in the league. 80 was always a dominant force ever since college, but his third year was when he put things together. With the Pelicans, he was dragging his team through the season before eventually losing to the 67 win and eventual champions Golden State Warriors. And he still played a high level enough to keep each game of that series close by averaging 31 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 blocks in the tough series. The Pelicans were 9 points better with him on the court that year. AD had his role and was extremely efficient and effective in it. The difference between then and now is that AD is just as impactful, but now he plays a significantly bigger role and puts up bigger numbers. Davis had a 27% usage rate compared to 31% usage in his last 10 games. He also had a true shooting percentage of 64% this season, by far the highest of his career. AD had his weaknesses, the only one for now though is the idea that he might fall to injury due to his extensive medical history. But NBA fans should hope that doesn't happen. It's rare to be able to see an individual play at such a high level. So what has led to this sudden improvement? The Lakers were on a downward trajectory toward hitting the panic button. Davis was looking like a shell of his former self in every which way, but the coaching staff made big changes to get their star big more involved in the offense to become the central focal point. In October, Davis had a usage rate of 25%. In all of November, that number jumped to a 29% usage rate, even higher recently. The first 10 games of the season, he took 17 shots a game and 5 free throws. 
versus 19 shots and 10 free throws in his last 10 games. But it's not just the volume that's changed, the Lakers finally decided this year to ask AD to create more. He's taken 4% less catch and shoot attempts since the start of the season. The number of possessions where he holds the ball for 6 seconds or more has jumped from a tiny 3% to start to 12% now. The teammates are force feeding him the ball now and it's working. A lot of that change has to do with the better floor spacing and changes in teammates rules. No longer is the team trying to force Westbrook, Davis and LeBron to work together. Westbrook has entered a 6 man role and has excelled. He's playing more efficiently, going back to a high energy on ball role where he controls the offense and creates scoring opportunities for his teammates. And that magic has impacted Davis significantly. AD and Russell have an offensive net rating of 116 when they play together. AD and LeBron have one of 110, and when all three stars are on the floor, they also have one of just 110. It's no surprise that out of all three of those lineups, Westbrook and Anthony Davis get the most playing time together. What this means for the Lakers future. During Anthony Davis's eruption thus far, the Lakers have won eight games and lost only two, which leave them tied with the Bucks, Pelicans, and Suns for the best record in that three week span. Compare the back-to-back -back games versus the Spurs to see the impact. One with AD and the second one without. AD was great the first game. In the match he didn't play, the Spurs game plan completely changed to attack the paint and pound the ball inside. AD has that impact to completely change the other team's offensive schemes. And if he keeps this up, the Lakers can save this season. They still rank 12th in the Western Conference via the poor play to start the season, but playoff contention is now well within reach at this point. LA was on the verge of mortgaging more of the already depleted future assets to try and improve this team. Buddy Heald and Miles Turner seemed like guaranteed moves that were only being delayed to save face. There were even talks from some news outlets on the possibility of trading AD and rebuilding. The team's working now, so the Lakers can breathe and focus on rounding out rough edges. Shooting's still an issue, a big 3 and D wing would do wonders to the roster, a quality backup center would also help improve bench defense. LA should do what they can to improve the current team without making too many changes to the stars. But in the long term, they have a cornerstone to build around. LeBron's at the end of his career. Davis was brought in to take the reins of the team and be the face for years to come. There were doubts, but all of it is starting to come together now. So if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of AD right now in the comments.